to and my appeal would be for those who say, as is said over and over again, Sola Scriptura is not in the Bible. You can't find it anywhere. Uh, would you interact with Matthew 15, 1 through 9 more? Because this is one of those passages that does get into... So here's the way I would make the case. Here Jesus is interacting with some of the traditions of the Pharisees. Now the Pharisees get a bad rap, but they were the Jewish religious leaders of the day, and they had oral tradition. And he's contradicting their oral tradition by basically saying he prioritizes the Word of God over human traditions. So for example, concerning certain washing rituals, he says in verse 3... Why do you break the commandment of God for the sake of your tradition? And again in verse 6, for the sake of your tradition, you have made void the word of God. So the question that I would ask is, do you grant that it's at least a meaningful conceptual distinction to draw between the word of God and human tradition with the former regulating the latter? And if you grant that as at least like a, a conceptual possibility, can you understand how if someone isn't already convinced that sacred tradition has that kind of unbreakable divine authority, how you'd look at Matthew 15 and say, this looks like it pushes you towards Sola Scriptura. What else is there 